Hello, grubs. Uh, 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 happy Monday. Ooh, a little bit late, but here we are. I was basically out, out and about a little bit. Um, I went out and I was sketching on an actual sketchbook. Getting used to, I guess, traditional art again. <laughs> Hi, Chubby Yesno. How is everybody doing? Today, we're finally finishing that color wheel challenge. Let me grab um, a few of those assets while we say hello. Time for the eight color wheel speed run. Yeah, that's right. Today, we're actually speed running them in a way by the way hi jedex hi limon hey hey welcome so yeah um yeah i was out trying to do some i guess traditional i need to try physical media again myself yeah i basically got a brush pen I don't know, um, one of those thickish ones, I got one in color brown, I guess you could say. And I like the, the look of it, although I have to get used to, how would I call it, like committing to it. Uh, I feel like I'm very used to, you know, the typical undos and grabbing something and just moving it around and you you don't have that when it comes to physical media so i guess making a sketch could help but then i think i also need to get used to like the physics of it or like how much do i need to actually push and all because you know um in a way i'm really used to ms paint not having any um sensitivity at all it's just like one size fits all i guess and when it comes to that since i'm using like a brush pen in a way it has like a lot of sensitivity pressure i guess it's it's a way of um signing hey monochrome howdy how are you doing how is everybody on this wonderful Monday? I've been cooking up something. Um, I don't know if I think I mentioned it last week, but you know what? Like for a while, I was trying to be like a normal YouTuber, but I feel like I don't have the. I, I feel like I'm not as consistent on what I do. And, like, I had a few projects that I that I wanted to make at some point. And some of them, I really do believe that I need to commit to them and do them for a while. Uh, because they're, like, I don't know, story-based projects and things like that. So I'm thinking, uh, maybe uh, I should try to do at least one as a test and then... Um, not care about the typical videos that I should make. Although I, I like the idea of making the YouTube videos that I, that I want to make. I just, sometimes I feel like I struggle with those and maybe with the animations and, or like story projects that I want to make. Since those are also like a little bit more meaningful, maybe I'll have a, a much better luck. But I'll need to test. So I've been writing. I've been writing a whole lot of things, points of stories that I that I wanna flesh out. I'm actually on time. Yeah, pretty early. I'm just getting things ready right now. Grabbing the color wheel. Grabbing things to. Grabbing things to make things. A few of you there with the story projects or what is it? 
Uh, cool, if I get a brush pen, I'd go full Bramontes and do messy lines at speed lightning. Yeah, that's that's what I need to do, I think. Um, I need to, like, really commit to the size and... And brush strokes, like, go crazy with it. Need to see you get out of your comfort zone like that. Yeah, I I'm thinking that I should, because... Like, I, I've seen how much I've done so far when it comes to normal YouTube. And when it comes to normal YouTube, like, I think I have good ideas. And I like the things that I want to do. But... Wait, what? Uh, I was talking about monochrome working on art all day. Yet. Oh, I see, I see. The writing so much fun, I just wish the words would magically appear instead of me having to type it all. Well, I don't think about stories and things like that. I feel like I don't know how to write. And I don't care about that. Um, but that's also my style. I feel like I care about like the big picture instead of, I don't know, dialogues and things like that. So I care about... Big moments, flashy things. Um, I guess a little bit of a style versus substance. So hopefully that's probably not going to be a problem. But yeah. Guys, would you love me if I told you I was a human and not a grub? Um, yeah, but I believe you're a grub, right? <laughs> if you're a grub, you're a grub. I love typing, especially, especially with a good keyboard. <laughs> Yeah, so, so far, when when I'm writing, like, a story, I'm not writing it in a fan fiction -y way. So I'm basically not writing dialogue or not writing things like that. I'm really like, okay, this big thing happens, and then this other big thing happens. How do we get from here to here? I guess a uh, thing and thing happens, and then... I'm basically, I'm basically doing it like that. So I work in a very weird way. Or I don't know if it's weird. I, I just feel like people usually write. Um, honestly, I don't know. I, I don't know how people do do things um, normally. I feel like I write the big ideas and then I write smaller ideas. And then even things in between. But yeah. I'm thinking about printing the fanfics I made for my friends about our OCs and book binding them. That sounds cool. Yeah, so yeah, I've been I've been working on that a lot and hopefully I can still make other things work. Uh, I was working on this. Let me show it. Uh, I was doing it for a while. I know I'm giving updates instead of um doing what we should be doing right now. Wait, what? Let me put this over here. So that reminds me of Chocotaro's backward script writing. He usually starts with a payoff big moment, then thinks of justifications for them. Yeah, I'm kind of doing it like that. I feel like, um, I feel like it's probably not super conventional. But I think some people might work that way. Um, but I, I, I don't know. The way that I do it, since I don't know how other people work, it feels um, unconventional. It feels a little bit backwards, right? Uh, like, I, like I sort of think people would usually, um, I don't know, start, start with characters and motivations and things like that. And I'm starting off with... I want to do like a big thing and remember I suggested let you for for green oh but we already did green uh, but yeah I, I do remember that one but we did the one from um we did this one let me show it before I show the other thing that I that I was gonna do 
this was our green from last stream. I think it would be cool because it's like half the book would be in Spanish and the other in English. And I was I was there. I was there too. <laughs> no, but I get it. I I just thought maybe you didn't see that part. Just making sure everyone is up to date, right? So I've been working on this little I showed it like a while while back and now I give it a lot of texture and all of that so Beetle is blue I'm blue oh you're right I'm blue but I'm gonna do like a little sonic um working on this it's not um it's not complete yet but this is basically going to be the little setup for the shorts and this stream will be turned into shorts, I feel like, I believe. Wait, what? So look at it. Um, ignore the screen. I know right now the, the screen is like too vibrant. That's going to be like a final semi-transparent overlay, but mostly everything it's really like how, how it's turning out so far and in the shorts i'm probably gonna do it like this so it's gonna be like a cutout and then you you'd see the um, the things over here like like a screen but yeah it's almost done <laughs> Beetle in <and> Sonic Onesie. <laughs> yeah, I still need to work on it. I've been working on it for a while. But it's almost ready, so I want to release a few shorts, because I needed that. I don't know. Um, you know, I always need to go the extra mile, so... <laughs> um, that's why I need to do things like that. Let me grab this real quick. Our reference. Wait, that's too big still. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it's good. Uh, I'll need to test things out, but hey, I'm, I'm trying something, right? Want to make it unique, and I'm always trying to do... To have things in my style, I guess you could say. Wait. Whoop. People don't know I was there when the shorts were being made. <laughs> yeah, you grubs are the real MVPs. And that's really true because uh, once I start, yeah, I wanna I wanna try to make it look um three D ish. I don't know if I'll manage because also because of the timer. But hey, uh, I always seen people do like the three D look for things like that. So. I wanted to try that and you know since I've drawn Sonic a few times and even one of my projects is basically Sonic related I thought this would be like a unique approach to this and since also it needs to be quick I'd like to think this will be quick but I don't know so let's start uh, let me grab the timer the clock Mm -mm -mm. 
I'll do 15 minutes, I guess. All right. There we go. So, yeah, I've been cooking. I've been... So, in the future, I'll show, like, a few of my design ideas for the story projects that I've been working on. Right now, it's a little bit too early to, to do a few of those things. But hopefully, like, real soon, I can start um, working on that. The timer, the clock. <laughs> I get it. Uh, yeah, I'm excited for the projects, although, um, I don't know if I would say, I'm not worried, um, with, we've talked about this before, how, wait, let me <laughs> stop the clock before, um, so what I'm worried about is that, I don't know, I'll start, and then I'll, Let's say thumbnailing, right? Uh, and then I'll do like a rough animation, right? And then when I get to the backgrounds, I'm worried that the backgrounds will be like a like a big wall for me, because that's something that I feel always. <laughs> I love backgrounds and I like doing them, but I also feel like it stops me a little bit like it messes up with my rhythm I would say and in a way I like doing them and I feel like I need them and I will do them but since the rhythm is like pretty constant and then we go like downwards or something then I feel like that um Sometimes, I wouldn't say it kills my motivation, but it hinders it, maybe. I don't know what's the right word for that, um, for this situation. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope this time I don't get, like, stun-locked by, by backgrounds. Oh. Yeah, I guess, I guess they, um, they take too much time, in a way. So it makes me feel stuck. That's what I what what I'd say. Um I'm not doing a completely accurate one. I'm trying to do made backgrounds right after storyboard. Mm, you'd think so. Backgrounds are crucial, but I'm so not used to doing them. I don't think I could ever do a comic or animation because of my fear of putting my effort to do them. Yeah, I feel that. You know, the, the thing is that... To me, like, I'm pr probably gonna do thumbnailing, and my thumbnailing is almost... Like, my storyboard. I always do them, like, really accurate. I almost don't need... I could almost do things like without storyboard or without a rough animation. I could do things straight away because of how much I can see them in my head. But I do feel like having a background changes things in a way that, for example, let's say a character is like like this right and I feel like this is how would I call it like pretty flat or static or something so I want I would want to like warp the background I guess but in order to do that I think I need the background I, I guess I could do the lines um, Maybe that would help, but since, like, I need to see the background, then I go back and think, now I need to do the background, and then, I don't know, things get messed up, but I guess, yeah, I could be, like, I don't know. I don't know when's the right moment for me to do the background. I guess after the storyboard, 
kind of makes sense, but I'm worried about it. I am worried. But yeah, like I said, I, I, I like doing backgrounds. I, I just, I guess what I don't like is that um, it takes a lot of time. And then I feel like I will probably not fully like them. I don't know. I think it's something about like you have an art style and maybe for drawings I don't care because I'm like okay I, I guess um, this is my art style for this but when it comes to backgrounds not only does it have to kind of mesh well with your art style but I don't know it 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 makes things like for the background, it needs to have, like, the style. It doesn't need to take away from the characters, so it's... It should, like, mesh well. I don't know. Um, or mix well. What else? The perspective? There are, like, a lot of things you need to consider, so that's why... I feel like it's harder to do that. Um, so that's the only thing that we're, uh, I'm worried about. Because, yeah, you need to, to think about things before doing them. As much as I hate thinking about backgrounds, I always put down perspective references to draw stuff. Yeah. You gotta do backgrounds, rough sketch at least before characters there for perspective. Yeah, yeah, I think that's that's true because um, I really want to make things look very, very dynamic. Since I think this time around, since I'm gonna do, since it would be like a larger project, I don't think I'll do a lot of animation. It would be a little bit like a comic book or something. It would look more like an animatic with the... Um, with the cleanup level of an animation, I guess. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Since, like, for, for larger projects, I wish I could do animations, but I'm just one little bug. I can't do it all, so I, 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 right now I think, okay, when I, when I want to do a, like, a larger project, I shouldn't focus on animating movements, I should just focus on displaying them, right? So, instead of, um, instead of, I don't know, making, let's say, for example, Sonic Run, from here to here, right? I would just do like a big drawing. I mean, cooler than this, right? But a, a big cool drawing of Sonic like really stretched out or something. And maybe move the camera enough. And that's it, right? I'm thinking about it that way right now. Especially for my larger projects. Um... Because I could animate it, but I think that that would be too much, right? Like, animate it, and then so many frames, and then paint them all. I would never finish that. Me using games to get perspective for my backgrounds. You know, I was thinking about that. Uh, I've been... I've been thinking about basically photo bashing and things like that. So, especially when I want to do things like that, uh, I've thought about games, using games, and then maybe just photo bashing things and moving things around. Hey, bro, bro, moment. <laughs> you know, right? What is it? 
Smart I just draw lines. You know, the thing is that I actually don't know how to do to correctly do vanishing points. I guess I think it would be important for me to learn. But I feel like in a way I just visualize things already warped and already I don't know. I feel like my head would see them better if there was a background rather than just um, the typical lines for the vanishing points, right? Because I feel like even if I just do like this, like for a floor, I don't know, maybe. I tried to learn perspective, but I gave up. <laughs> it happens. They're always animated on once. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, well, nobody animates entirely. Except for Richard Williams. Well, I mean, I usually like animating. I just think I can't give myself that... Um, like, there's always that thing that you need to sacrifice something, right? Especially when you're working quote-unquote, on a limited budget, for me, would be, like, on a limited... I wouldn't say time, but, yeah, on a limited... No. I guess time is right. I don't want to take forever, right? So... But it's not limited. I don't know. When you're working on a limited everything, you need to sacrifice something. And to me, I think doing less frames would be that, I guess. Like, maybe at least do, like, movement from here to here. I can animate that. But otherwise, it would be, like, I don't know. Uh, I'll pr prioritize maybe, like, moving backgrounds, moving the camera, moving certain things around. But, yeah. I want to make another animatic, but I always have a hard time starting them. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what is it that make makes things. Um, I guess they they can be a little bit daunting. I guess I also have trouble starting them because I sometimes I have ideas and I basically sketch them out thumbnail them out or whatever it is and I feel like whoa this would be like I could do this maybe in a day and then I don't do it <laughs> and I'm like why don't I do it it feels like there's a lot of um pressure or something uh like you want to set things up so that you don't fail there's a name for that right it's like it would be similar to that analysis, paralysis, or whatever that is. I, th I think that could explain it. I like animating in my free time, but I could never do it full time. It'd be too stressful. Yeah, there are a few things that... Um, that can be a little bit tedious. You know, it takes time. Uh, and like if you know <laughs> if you know how I am you already know how badly I get distracted and that is one of the things that I I guess fear the most you know how much I do this thing where I I don't know I'm sketching then I'm doing line art then I'm back to sketching another thing. Then I color some things, but then I color some other things. And then I realize, okay, I need to do the backgrounds. And then I get tired and, and I go back to this. It starts... Like, I can't work in order, you know? And then <laughs> I, I've, I've only, like, uh, filled a few frames with color. And then I start shading those. 
and then I, I, I'm feeling like, oh no, I shouldn't shade that much. Maybe let's go back to this. And then back to shading. And then I'm like, oh no, maybe let's change the background again. <laughs> I'm doing so many things. I can't. Uh, I struggle with that too, so. Same as a struggle for real. Animation can have moving camera usually done with editing. Um, you know, it's actually... Since I'm going to be using uh, Blender, it's actually easier. You can uh, just move the camera like if it was like a real camera, I guess. So at least that's pretty, pretty fun. Oh, and I'm also thinking about that too. Because I'm like, okay, should I draw in MS Paint, like, the frames? Or should I draw them in Blender? Because, I don't know, MS Paint gives me more... Uh, well, it's a little bit ironic, but it gives me more quality since I'm so used to the style and the tools, right? But then again... Making it fully on Blender allows you to have more tools. Since you can have several different effects like right away available to you. But then I'm like, I don't know if I like the lines. I don't know if I like the style that comes out with it. It's always like a struggle to just think about what is the right choice right uh, what is what is the answer that analysis paralysis just thinking about what to do This is smaller. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's so fun and it's so good. But yeah, it's a lot to think about. Maybe do the sketch in Blender, then do the finished drawings in Paint. I thought about that. I thought about that because um, I think I've done that a few times where I... It's cool to do the sketch in Blender because then um, it's easier to see it animated and then you can, you know, actually do the right style that you want with MS Paint. But then again, that's also like a little bit time consuming. So, I don't know. Um... It's one of those things, I don't know if I've said this before, um, sometimes I have to think a lot about what I need to do and it's weird for me because it's like I need a solution which is like point C I guess, let's say that's the solution and I'm thinking there's problem A and problem B. I'm thinking like this, and then I go back to this one. And then I loop like a few dozen times. And then I'm like, whoa, I got it. I need to do this. And then I come out of that loop and finally see what I need to do. But at the time, right now, I'm stuck in that loop. <laughs> That's what I do with Photoshop because I got it free because of school. Yeah, that sounds uh, pretty useful, especially if um, you think uh, it helps more with doing quality drawings. I think I realize what the issue is. That it's not the timer or, or that you take too long to draw. It's chat. <laughs> no, but uh, uh, yeah, right now we... The 15 minutes just passed, and I needed to finish that 
Um. But, but yeah. We need a different way to have a discussion like this other than YouTube stream. You think so? Well, let me drink a little bit of water. The Dunk Beetle Discord series. <laughs> oh, uh, Jetix, have you seen? Ah, uh, there's this one fun little animation. I don't remember their name. I think Spineapple. Spineapple. Is it? Is that their name? Spineapples. Um, they did an animation that really reminded me of you. Um. It's of, I think, Metal Gear Rising. They did, Jack, are you serious or are you joking? Slash serious slash joking or something like that. Uh, you need to watch that when you can, please. I don't know why it... Are you slash serious or slash joking? Or something like that. It, but it, that was pretty funny to me. And it reminded me of you. Um, okay, um, now back to the topic. Okay, I was gonna say, um, this time I understand that I'm taking even a lot longer because I've been dwelling on this thing for the future projects that I want to do. So this time I'm actually like really, really taking into account suggestions because I need some answers, right? So that's why I'm like even focusing away from the drawing like too much. But yeah, usually I I do take my time. That's the reason why I think L let me show this, I guess this is like the Monday stream where we can talk and and all but i want to make some streams where i work on the animations not only because streaming i think would help me focus on actually being here like doing a thing but for those streams i think i would talk a little bit less right because i think it would be cool to hang out but I think I would need to focus a lot more, right? Because when it comes to animation, you need to actually, you know, get work done in order to 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 do things. So I'm probably going to do like a little bit of a radio thing. And but I don't know, it will be something that I'll have to test out. And whenever I get that animation stream layout ready that's when i'm gonna probably gonna release the discord too well the mgr animation is really good thanks for the plug <laughs> yeah i really like um uh, spineapples and i thought the animation was fun and it also really reminded me of the the joke really reminded me of you i love that they do so many Team Fortress things. I guess it's been a while since they... They did the... The last one they did was really, really cool. I wish I could do more Team Fortress animations. I'm speaking like I have done Team Fortress animations, but one time I did... I did, um... I was working on one. But that was before I lost all my files. Before I lost all my files. Never seen the work before, but I like their, their style a lot. Yeah, I like it a lot too. I think you would like some of their animations. They're funny and... And all that. TF2 is... It's a great F. I thought F because the the game is dead. <laughs> but yeah, it's a great game. 
I absolutely love TF2. It's one of my all-time favorite games. Okay, back to the drawing. I gave myself 15 more minutes. We're down to 10 minutes. We can do this. We can totally do this. No reason to doubt. We can't do this. But yeah. In the future, the... the... Yeah, I guess it, it would be a, a cool idea to have the Discord. Because many times I have a lot of, um, I guess, questions that I, that I think about. I'm like, should I do this or should I do this instead? And, I mean, I know I'll get to the answer, but it's cool to take um, some feedback. And, like, even if I don't follow the feedback, I really appreciate it. Uh, Because it makes me think, right? And sometimes I need to think about other things that I hadn't thought about to try to get out of that loop. Pause champ. <laughs> Shutting up protocol engage. What what do you mean? No the clock is Ticking down. Eight minutes. We're getting there, I think. Ah. I don't know how I'm gonna make the effect happen. I, I see some people do really fun drawings that look 3D by making them all polygonal. Since I work with so many lines. I think I'm going to struggle a little bit, but hopefully I'll get it, I think, hopefully. I'll shut up so you can focus and don't have to monologue. No, 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 uh, please, uh, talk. To, that's, that's what this stream is for, right? I'm not in a rush. Um. I mean, playfully, I'm in a rush, right? But in reality, I'm not. And that's what Mondays are, are for. Even in... What would you call it? Even in the streams that I want to animate and be focused, I wouldn't want you grubs to, to shut up just because... Uh, maybe I wouldn't be reading every message out loud, but I could read them and, and I feel like I can read and I can talk, uh, both things I can do, but on their own, right? So I can either talk on my own or I can read what you grubs say, but yeah. How much time do you have to finish your animation? I guess whatever time I want, but I don't want it to be like... I don't want it to take forever, right? So... Like I said, it's not like a super time limit thing. But I would at least like to do... And I'm saying at least one per month right because even then to finish a project it would take me at least a year and that sounds like a lot so and that's doing it like one animation per month so i really want it to be faster than that but i can't um
you know, I have to be realistic too and and all that. Hey, mature reddish. Hurting accountants for sport? Is that the hobby? Cutting paper into shreds and put it in, in a bucket? Oh, I used to see a lot of people doing something like that wh where they would cut like little pieces of papers into like a strip and then they would do like small stars with that and then they would fill up a jar with that the thumbnail it's me <laughs> yeah you could actually use this uh as a profile pic didn't you ask for one like this before although this is like a 3d polygonal right no way sonic the hedgehog himself <laughs> that's right um, but yeah, like I said, I guess, in a way, I have unlimited time to, does it have a tail in this one? What if Needle fell to Dung Beetle? Are those the things you, like, poke? Those are pretty fun. That would be pretty cool, right? I can't believe Sonic... <laughs> I can't believe Sonic Mars the Hedgehog... Mars Hedgehog has decided to join the chat. That's true. Actually true. So... We now have finished the sketch. We got their grubs. We did it. We actually finished it. The sketch, at least. I'm pretty sure he has a tail. Oh no, I know Sonic has a tail, although the reference, like, this one doesn't show the tail. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that's. Wait. Um. Give me a second. I forgot to. To put the pointer up. Hopefully, I'm not showing anything because I can't see a thing. Um. We're back. Sorry about that. I needed to show this. <laughs> so silly. I almost started crying when I saw you started streaming again the other day. Ah. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, I like the idea of one day make them into recycled paper. Oh, that would be cool. You could even make like a sketchbook out of that, right? That would be, or yeah, like a paper mache thing. What, 90s Western Sonic Canon was something else. Yeah, that was like a Canon name or something. I feel like I've heard about a thing like that. Sounded familiar. I love, you know, you know the one that I love? Ah, I don't know how to find it. It's a fr the I love this frame, or I guess this panel. This one. For the first time in his life, Sonic is the void of humor. For the first time in his life, Sonic truly understands the meaning of war. <laughs> and. I, I can't take this seriously, right? How can you, like... Curved up... Into a tire? And like this? I don't know if I can take it seriously, but... It's great. It is great. 
As I told my mom, she didn't say anything to me about Pride Month. And the woman just ignored me. I mean, it's another generation, right? So... <laughs> For real, I've been replaying Sonic Adventure on PC with mods, and it's super fun. Can I get a better profile picture from you? I mean, I, I guess this would be the best thing right now, but in the future, I'm also going to do more um, Sonic-related stuff. Top-tier panel, yeah! <laughs> war, war never changes. Like I said, I don't know if I can take it seriously. It'd be sick if we had remakes for the adventure games, but they probably mess it up, to be honest. I don't know. I I would fear that they changed the physics. And to me, the Sonic Adventure 1 spin dash and how fast you can go with it, it's like the best thing ever. So that's what I would fear the most, that... Maybe they would standardize it. Like, the Sonic Adventure 2 spin dash is not as powerful and OP as the first one. Me, Sonic Frontiers gives me hope that Sonic Team um, wouldn't give it to the all wrong hands. Spend two seconds on it. Yeah, so, uh, so far what I've played of Sonic Frontiers is pretty good. Although I I still really like the adventure feel of the games. Uh, like I feel like I'm on the band of people saying we need a Sonic Adventure tree. Maybe not exactly Sonic Adventure tree. It can be whatever else. But yeah. And please give us more Sonic ports on PC. I want Sonic Unleashed. Alright, let's get things rolling. Okay, let's fill things out. And see what we can do. Maybe this is too orange a little bit like this. Yeah. Even this one feels a little bit yellower, but we can do it as a second tone. Yeah, I think I think we should. To give it the 3D feel already. The first Sonic game I played was Sonic 2. Mm, I don't remember the first one I played. I guess it was... I guess it was the first Sonic game. But honestly, I remember more... I don't know. I'd... I was playing Sonic since I was like super, super small. So, like a baby. A baby beetle. And... I... Wait, why did I do the legs skin colored? <laughs> that wasn't a thing. Sonic Unleash is my favorite Sonic game. It's pretty cool, but I haven't played it completely. No, not the legs. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. I was just like, oh, this isn't, um, this isn't filled up. So yeah, let's do, let's do it like this. Sonic shaped his legs for some weird reason. Uh, that was funny. If I ever made a Sonic game, it would play like an adventure game. The controls in that is a perfect mix of control ability and physic base. Yeah. Oops. Adventure is like super cool. 
I'm curious to play the DS version of Colors. Yeah. You know, I actually have never played the Rush, Sonic Rush games. I really want to. Mr. B Tour. But I have never played those. Because. I don't know. I don't know why. Did you know my my DS got stolen? That was really, really sad. One of my saddest moments. <laughs> Guys, what's Sonic favorite element? Is that like a joke or uh, setting up for a joke? I don't know. Our Sonic. Ah. Uh... <laughs> I get it. Right. It's time to stop being afraid. Let's start coloring. I guess, wait. Like this. Let's start coloring things. The outlines too. Because we need to color those. And let's see how things are looking, right? So this is basically a drawing with no outlines, I guess. <laughs> that actually made me laugh. I don't get it. Well, it is an element in the chemical table of elements, but you'll learn about it when you're older. <laughs> No, nothing dirty, just basically nothing dirty, more like something nerdy. <laughs> Sonic Mania's version of this model is really good. You mean because of the colors that I'm using, or... Oh! Oh, the little treaty one for the special stages. Yeah, that one's super fun. I wish they made a game with that, honestly. They could. They honestly could. I'm not smart, please explain what it is. <laughs> I wasn't trying to bully you, sorry. Do you know music theory? Me? Uh, I don't know, I guess not. I used to take piano lessons, but I don't know about music theory. I don't even know what music theory refers to, right? So people say... I feel like it's not just knowing the notes and that. I feel like it's probably more like the relation between sounds and what chords work with each other and why, I'm guessing. But I don't know about it. What about it? I know some music theory, but not good enough to pass any advanced test. Bluey theme song is so weird, it throws it out of the window. It's neat. I wouldn't know how, but... um, I think it would be interesting to understand. I wish I had space in my head for music, though. Uh, you know what? I've learned to play several instruments at some points in my life. But I also feel like 
right now I wish I could compose, but I can't do everything, you know? I already want to do everything that I can. Wanting to do music, I feel like I would explode too. It would be useful, but I'm already like a jack of all trades, master of none. I feel like getting into something like that. Maybe I could, but I feel like my brain already has no space for it. Not to flex or anything, but I have perfect pitch. That is a cool flex, honestly. Um, I feel like that would make it easier for you if you wanted to learn an instrument, right? It would have to, because you would know which note is which note, I guess, when comparing them. I feel like I always struggle. And, you know, I'm probably like, I could probably guess the note. Let's say this is a note, but I would guess it like a step down or half step down or something like that. I feel like I could play it by ear, but I don't know why I always end up like in another tune. I don't know. Can you just point out a note and be like C note and be right? Yeah, I can't. That sounds useful. I really want to play by ear because I feel like um I can I guess hum songs uh, correctly and I can come up with cool songs in my head if I hum them like cool things I guess but I feel like I would struggle because I would need to actually write them down and that is an extra step that just makes me want to stop, you know? I'm like, uh, I don't want to do this. I'm like, uh, you know what? Uh, maybe I should not. <laughs> I used to have like um, notebooks filled up with, um, I guess I would make like tabs for, for music that I would want to play and that would help me out, but I think it's better to, well, it's not necessarily better to play by ear it just feels more useful to me for the way that I want to do, do things. Because in a way, you also want to know how to read notes and all that. But I'm like, nah, I don't want to do that. Nah, I don't want to. I have read the pitch most people do. Want to grow... Jetix is flexing on us. <gasps> uh, Beetle, I just had an ad in the middle of the stream. I guess a little bit of money for me, right? Thanks for the support. No, I didn't control that, but... I guess it sometimes... Now, it seems that it sometimes happens. Although... I don't think that would earn me too much because it's just like for one viewer you donate perfect pitch you can find the notes if you know them which way is up and down yeah 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 it's just um I feel like I don't have good enough a good enough sense to do that. I struggle a little bit 
wouldn't say I'm tone deaf or anything. I just um. I feel like I I struggle enough that I would need to write them down and and that's would slow me down too much for what I want to do and then it's like ah eh, yeah. Do you have a Discord? In the future, not not now. We were actually talking about it a little bit, but yeah, it's almost ready. But I'm playing like a release, I guess, whenever I get things set up. Oh, this is not the color that I wanted. I used to be in a band as a kid and I still can read music. You must have been a per you must have been a percussionist. Sam I once had an orchestra class. I had to learn and read sheet music and retain none of it. I I used to take piano lessons. I feel like if I tried I could read them, but it would take me a while, so that's what feels like mm, I guess you could say a little bit messy it's like that amount of extra time you know how it feels the way that it feels for me it feels like I'm not reading it I feel like I'm translating it that's the issue for me and like, when you're translating something, you need to think, like, okay, this is, like, my fear back. All right. This is the way that I, that I know this language. Now I need to translate it. And then it's, like, it takes you longer. So that's, that's the issue. I'm still in a bunch of bands on and off. I've never, I've never ever made a band work. I feel like every time I, um, I try to do that, I don't know, something goes wrong. Like we fight over what we want to play. Or someone is not practicing. Even that someone could be me. I've had that at least once. Then, I don't know, we don't get together. We just ignore it for a while. Then it's too late. But I'm always like, ah, I, I so want to make a band project work but I don't know it's I guess coordinating is hard for me I think that would be like the biggest issue just when it's just the best never argue that f that sounds uh that sounds about right because you know it's almost all improv, right? So you just go ahead and jam. That's it. <laughs> but even for that, I would struggle, right? Because I feel like um, last time I wasn't something like that. I feel like I didn't have the biggest tissue. <laughs> uh, I feel like I didn't have enough ability. I would, I'd, I'd have, I did have that skill issue moment. I felt like I couldn't even jam, um, so that made it even harder to do so, to get together, do things. The plane is, but you still have to pick a song. Yeah, that makes sense.
Yeah, I guess last time I... I, I did so... It was also like the first time that I picked up the bass. So I used to play guitar. But one thing that messed me up was that I played guitar, but I, I would only play chords. I wouldn't play any solo notes ever. Um, I, I guess you could say I was like a rhythm guitar. And I was super used to it because um, that's basically all that John Lennon does. Well, not always. Sometimes John Lennon did uh, a few solos, I guess you could say. But mostly they were um, rhythm guitar thingies. And coming from only chords to... And then going into bass. Bass is basically... <laughs> Bass is basically like, um, you play guitar like a glorified ukulele. Yeah, <laughs> mm, that's about right. And yeah, I'm not ashamed because I've never felt like I'm, I've been like super skilled at it. But that's what I did. And going from that to playing bass, and bass is all like pure solo notes most of the time. It's like starting from the... Like, I was basically a beginner. I couldn't translate what I, what I knew from guitar to bass when it comes to technical skill. So that was an issue for me. Wait, what? Oh, I see what happened. I'm back. Hello. Bass got the bass line. I miss elementary school, not gonna lie. Like, just randomly being asked to do band or was fun I respect for faces to be honest you know I I it was funny for me because before that I never thought of myself as um like I wasn't thinking too much about bass players but then I was like oh you know what I actually love the bass so much how come I never thought about it like this before? I agree. I guess there was a time where I did, but I don't know. At some point, I forgot. I think this part is coming out nicely. the The way that this looks makes it look even more um. 3D. Hopefully, it's looking good. Oh, wait, what? I could never play bass lines too repetitive and really uh, oblivious if you make obvious uh, obvious if you make a mistake. Other parts can use to get away with mistake and play them off. Oh yeah, you know what? It's also like really hard. Um, well, at least for me, is that when you're playing the bass, um, the drawing looks really good so far. Dude. Thank you. Uh, when you're playing the bass, you really really have to be like. On time, I guess. I don't know what's the right word. On tempo. Because, <laughs> um, you know, it's like... People are actually, like, following you. It said, like... 
drums and bass are the ones that set up the timing, I guess. And I usually do struggle because I either rush or drag like so easily. Like if I make a mistake, I try to... I usually do try to... Wait, I'm trying to see if there's color there. I try to fix my mistakes, but it's a thing that you shouldn't fix. You should just like ignore your mistake and then move on. Because if not, then you're messing up everything. I'm like, oh no. Oh yeah, that's something that I, I do a lot. The rhythm bass line are foundational to most music. Yeah. It's a big, uh, it's a big task to ask for a little bug like me. <laughs> too much, too much to handle. But I mean, I like it, but it is a big responsibility. Oh no. Trying to set this up. Yeah, I'll put... I'll do a final timer so that we can start another drawing soon enough. So we've taken long with this one, longer than I thought we would. But I can probably make the other, because with this one, I I guess we we did have like a a thing in mind, which makes me have to follow like a few set of rules. But. I think with the next one, I don't remember where it was. I don't remember what our purple was. I do have it someplace over here. Let me check real quick. Oh, I think we had the McDonald's one. That's going to be easy. But then we have journal. That's pretty. That sounds complicated. But we can probably do it. I believe this is the time. The only experience I have with music is I have a band and Chrome Music Lab. I just hit keys on my QWERTY keyboard until I get a combination that sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. I think I usually have ideas in my head, but... um. The struggle is that, like I said, I do need to, like, translate them. Ooh, ah. The other color didn't work for the... Simplify journal? Yeah. I'm probably gonna do it a little bit like we did the uh, Miku. Something like really sketchy. As much as you need to. Geo characters are arguably <laughs> over designed. <laughs> mm. 
wonder what else I should... Wait. This is like... You see, I'm already shading this part. We haven't even filled this up. I didn't even finish the sketch properly. I just did one of the little belt buckles. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about when I'm s when I say I start doing other things in complete and utter disorder. Like this did not make sense at all. I used to try to transcribe pop songs in my free time. Like I said, I have trouble differentiating songs. You know what? What I I always had, like my mind could always hear like a song, and then immediately think of, oh, this mashup would work like perfectly. But then I also would never do it. I never know what programs to use, I guess, either. But th I guess that's on me. I should be looking things like that up and making them happen, right? Uh, then look, I I I just mentioned how I didn't fill up the shoes, and that was something that needed to happen before, and now I'm, I don't know, fixing the nose. <laughs> okay, let's do the shoes. I was about to say. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know why I do that. I have no control over it. It just happens. I don't know what to say. Like, I, I don't understand how I was just like bringing attention to that and at the same time messing up so bad <laughs> your mic clip so I couldn't hear your mic I could Oh, I'm sorry. Only to do a few tests in the future to see OBS settings. <laughs> There's a fly in my room and it's fighting me. A fly? Like, is it really biting? Or maybe it's like... A different type of fly than what I'm imagining? Either way, it doesn't sound good. <laughs> and flies can be annoying. Honestly, um... I really, really don't mind cockroaches. I killed it. <laughs> I really don't mind cockroaches, but flies, those are like my actual nemesis. I. They can be so annoying for me. I like them in theory, not in practice, you could say. 
not an actual Not when the actual thing is around. Never mind, I did it. Ooh. Yeah, they can be sneaky. Alright, I think we're doing good. We have seven minutes left. So, looks good. I love when the fly just passed through you. Like, this is... That's, to me, like, the worst. I love bugs so much. But somehow the frequency... The... The... the I think the frequency of flying bugs is so... I don't know, sharp to... Feels so sharp to my ears or something. It really makes me, like flinch and move my head like so much and it's not out of fear it's just like I don't know the the, the frequency is just so annoying to I'm like ah. no not that frequency <laughs> of course they come after you you have a big ball of poop playing around true the dung beetle. I guess it's to be expected, right? That pair up. Must be an evolutional thing from when we were a caveman and a drawing lineless Sonic and Emma's paint. Maybe. How do people do... How would people do this? Would they just start doing it lineless? I feel like I'm so used to lines that I did lines, although I feel like most wouldn't do the lines to begin with. They would just do... I guess they could do a sketch and then just color normally. But in a way I did lines and then coloring the lines to make it lineless. But I don't know if... I don't think that's normal. I think that's a uh, beetle behavior, right? I have no idea what a lineless workflow would look like. Yeah, I mean, either. I'm just guessing it's just like normal painting, right? Like just painting in a canvas. It would still start with the sketch and put the colors. Yeah, I guess. The sketch would be like the guide that I made. I, you just wouldn't color the outlines like I'm doing right now. I guess. I don't really do this though. Seems like none of us here. Yeah, that sounds about the right. The sketch would have all the lines in the world, but. In terms of rendering, it would be blocks of color. Yeah. I guess that would have been quicker, maybe? I'm just so not used to it, so this was my approach. It's because of food and mating? I'm not sure what the second one is meant to be. Like how fast flies mate. They do reproduce quite quickly, I think. 
I think this is a fine approach. Mm. I wonder. I think... I'm not sure. I think it could be in terms of... How would you call it? In terms of adapting it to my style or to my workflow, but I don't, well, no. Okay, I guess I'll have to work with that. But I don't think it's like fully, fully the correct approach. I don't know. I'm thinking about uh, in terms of saving time, I guess, and I know that because coloring the lines. If you did blocks of color, you probably spend more time on corrections. Maybe. Because, yeah, I'm trying to get an accurate thing, but I'm just thinking about what other people do. I mean, so far, so good, but like I said... I do wonder. All right. Let's do. It's almost done. And my time is almost up. Let's do like a darker color. I guess let's commit and do the outlines with the same color oh no uh no yeah doesn't matter right so that it already looks uniform and i'll give myself wait uh five minutes for this let's Wait, I have a question. Yeah, what is it? So the, the reference does have like um, faded colors instead of blocks, but I don't have time for blocks. I mean, fade, fading colors. <laughs> I think blocks will be my route. Hopefully we can make it work. We'll see about it. If I'm Sonic the Hedgehog and you're a dung beetle, are we in the same universe or a different universe? Hi, Dave. Welcome. How are you? Doing a little low poly Sonic right now. We're still finishing up the color wheel. Uh, would be would we be in the same universe? Um, as the way I am, no. But I do have like a Sonic OC for me as Beatles somewhere. But I wanted to make a video someday and actually flesh it out because it was just like a little concept. So then it would be the same universe when when I make that happen. Oh. Low poly moment. I'm okay working on art. Yeah. 
What are you working on? I guess this is a... I don't think I've tried this before. But I always love how things like this look. They always look so fun. Okay. <laughs> yeah, when I make my Sonic OC, then... I want to make a Sonic OC, but I feel like I missed out. Nah. It's never too late. I never made a Sonic OC when I was... Um... Younger. And I feel like most people did. But honestly, I don't know, I was never too focused on OCs. I still feel like I'm not super focused on OCs. I've always worked a lot on fan arts more than making OCs. So, yeah, that's the reason why. But now, since I guess you could say... I have a little universe with Beetle and stuff. I can base things off of that. And I don't know. I also feel like I'm trying to practice being this type of creative when I didn't before. It's all about practicing and stuff. Wait. I need to stretch out my legs are <laughs> killing me right now they felt like how would i say like really constrained maybe it was applying a lot of pressure while doing this If I made one, my friends would call me a furry. Oh, come on. Don't let that uh, be the thing that stops you. I feel like... Okay, of course, people make fun of furries. But, you know, I feel like embrace it. Just make fun of yourself. If people make fun of you, and then it will be like, just, yeah, it's like, embrace it, right? And they will probably not make it, uh... A thing to make fun of anymore, right? You'll be like, oh, are you a furry? Yeah, I am. So what? And they'd be like, oh, heh <laughs> heh. I guess. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I'll make one. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I want to make one uh, on stream too. Like I said, I have like a little concept, but nothing um, fleshed out. That's the only issue. I draw feral, centrist, humanoids, mech, anything. Cringe culture is dead. Live your sparkle dog dreams. I do feel like I have a controversial opinion on that and but I think I have matured and I have noticed something and I, I want to make a video about this someday because I think it is important to do so so in the past I used to think that um people would use like every color of the rainbow a lot of sparkles, things like that. And I would actually feel that that was quote unquote not good character design. But now I actually feel like it actually might be good character design. It is just that maybe it is not for everybody. So let's say, um, Let's say this, there was this one character design that was, like, super colorful. And then there is this other character design that is more limited. 
when it comes to like the color palette or something and then I thought hey I mean if you're trying to design something that is um well like well designed you would need to head towards the limited side but now I think when you actually think about it there's so many people that actually enjoy this side what if it was the case that it's not that good the sign needs to be this it's that actually some people like this side and some other people like this side and it's like people should design colorful for the people who like colorful things and people should design limited for the people who like limited um, but I have not fully fleshed out the ideas that I have because like for me, I'm very much on the limited side and I do not, um, like I used to think not like they're cringe, the, the colorful side was cringe, but I, I feel like I don't think this is good, um, character design per se, but now I notice like so many people do enjoy that that there must be something to it so there must be a side that actually just enjoys that right uh it's not like this one is the only good one it's like a lot of people fall into this and this is a good thing to go by like a good set of rules but maybe a lot of people would just enjoy this and are happy with this and would be happy with shows that are full of like color char colored characters and all that um colorful ah trying to erase this colorful characters but i don't know i i, I think i need to flesh that out because like i said at some point it's not like i was against it but I, but i did feel like i don't think this is good character design but now I need to think about it. There's something to it. I think the most important part with colors is balance. Yeah, it is important. Uh, for me, I, I do like a lot like being super mindful and limited with things, but I don't know. you want to break those rules still know the rule yeah that's true I'm drawing my character right now who is a part of a pokemon arpg Ooh, that's cool it doesn't have a rainbow on them they also have neutrals but does have a rainbow on them those have neutrals and lighter colors yeah. Yeah, you know, it also like depends on the intention, right? Because I wouldn't say Rainbow Dash is a badly designed character. Like, you just have to know what the character is, what it's doing, what it's for, I guess. And the audience needs to be like the right audience, right? Um, it depends because uh, I would also give my perspective my rules of design which are to limit um, the color palettes but that is also like just if you want to make things the way that I do in a way everyone should do their own thing um I'm not sure. Know your audience, know your character. Exactly. Exactly. It is a little bit hard because of, you know, the cringe culture thing. And like I said, I, I used to 
think about it that way a little bit. Like, because, like, if I'm being honest, uh, like I said, I'm more on the limited palette type of designs. But that doesn't mean that there aren't people who don't appreciate the other type of design. There's so many. And the fact that there's so many makes me feel like, you know, maybe there is an audience for this, right? And maybe a lot of people do ignore it because of that. Because, you know, you're told to not do that. At some point, things like that, and it's like, you need to let it go, but I don't know. I, stu I still need to uh, think about that, because like I said, I don't fully have that thought, like, fleshed out. But it is there, I do want to make a, a video. About that someday. <laughs> How close are you to being done? Uh, pretty close. Wait, what? Why does he ban people? Me? I haven't banned anyone. Oh, the I uh, I know what you mean now. That's what I do with my gesture characters. I'm almost close to being done, I promise, I promise. I know it seems like I'm adding another color, but... I'm not, I'm not. It's like so close check it out no sound in my bad yeah yeah okay I'm missing this Wait, let me do the legs like this. Wait, no. What? Like this? Oh no, something happened. Like this? Then working turbo mode now. The shading looks really good, thank you. I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs> I don't even know if things are placed correctly, but just doing, doing what it do. The five-year-old was probably banned because of being five years old, most likely. And nothing else. They may want um, an older audience. But I'm not sure. No. Mm. Ah. It 
is it done? Is it done? Am I missing something? Uh, I think. I mean, it's not perfect. But I think it's done. And I think we're not trying to make it perfect. It was indeed just a doodle and it's about to be two hours. But hey, this is it, right? Let me save this for a second. Mm. We shouldn't just be talking about someone else like that. I don't really know. Honestly, if it didn't have as many polygons, I think the Butter's Moon would have been a better reference. Since you're going for that same kind of flesh shading. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, it would have been easier maybe if I had that. It doesn't have like a flat shading, but I don't know. I just did whatever. Uh, whatever worked, right? <laughs> sorry. Oh, no, don't worry. Don't need to be. No need to be sorry. I was just saying like, I really don't know. Uh, what's the deal with if it was like a warning it's okay but it's okay to mention whatever warning but yeah let's not dwell on it too much the black screen beetle looks creepy oh, i'm sorry <laughs> i turn off the monitor right um. don't want anything to show up uh, what were we gonna do? Oh, it's the... What's it called? Grimace? The Grimace thingy. Let's do that, little dude. You don't know, the XC. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just... It's just me. Speaking of Beatles screens, I never noticed the reflection on the stream thumbnail, something last stream. Oh, really? <laughs> I mean, it's a thumbnail, so wouldn't show up like too much, but it's there. It is there. Where did... What was the... I like I like this one. I don't even I can't even see oh my god I saw it. What was it? I'ma draw a beetle on the XC now. <laughs> Is it now gonna be like a creepy pasta? Can't unsee it now. Oh. Ah. All right. Let's let's do this one like This one should be like a little palette cleanser. Like done in a second. Let's do this one real real quick. All right. So let's start. With the shapes. This man is the epitome of first shape. Yes, I could be pasta. I could read it about it. I don't even know what lore could even exist.
I don't even know what it would say, like, what happens? I'm sorry, Grubs, I didn't try to be creepy. Have you ever played Portal 2? Yeah. I played it the solo campaign and the multiplayer one with a friend. I actually would like to play it um, on stream at one at one point. And last time I was Peabody, but now I should be Atlas with my round beetle body, right? I don't think it was that creepy. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't say... Maybe it's just the fear of the unknown, yeah. To me, it's like just turning off, on and off the screen. It's like when you turn on the monitor and I turn it off and then it's like... Like when you see your reflection on the DS screen. It's so fun, I'm on chapter 8. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I think Portal 2 is, I think I like it the best out of the Portal games, I mean 1 and 2. Maybe I should... Make this one just like this. And then the other one should be holding the beverage that I want to showcase. Uh, I left to throw out the earwig. What is this character? It's a grimace from McDonald's. <laughs> Emo Mudkip. <laughs> I tried making a beetle.exe, but it just looks. I would still like to see it if there's any way for you to show it to me. I'd be happy to look at it and share it. <laughs> It's just a fun little character, I guess. It's an easy one. I mean, in a way, Sonic was an easy one, but we did it in a different way, right? So. Wouldn't say it was hard, but it was a different type of challenge. Can't draw bugs. <laughs> That makes me wonder even more how it, it ended up looking. So if you have any way to share it, like I, I have open DMs everywhere, Twitter, Instagram, and there's also my email. I don't think it's sad. I think it's just like chill. It's like, yeah. It's like, yeah.
but I'll aim it to you. Yeah, let's go. You know, my email is on the channel description if you need it. Oh. Very must look size. <laughs> yep. I kind of was not intentionally, but when it ended up looking a little bit like that, I was like, yeah, I can totally see this. He would be. He's got the munchies. Can't find your email. I'm too stupid. Uh, I think it's Beetle MS Paint Touch. Uh, at gmail let me check yeah beetle and the spain at gmail Yeah, no problem. My eyes are kind of down tuned, but not to Grimace's extent. <laughs> I like eyes like that. They're fun to draw and all that. I I use those in Animal Crossing. You know, the ones that are like just like that, like like this. I use those. <laughs> I have the kind said characterize. In Animal Crossing, which ones would that be? Would those be um or do you just mean like in general in real life? <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. Give me a second to um, finish this and then I'll show it uh, for the stream. Just because I'm basically recording this doodle says in real life. Yeah, oh, I see, I see. <laughs> Not fully recording this, but I won't interrupt it so that the editing will be pretty easy for me. I've never played Animal Crossing in my life. Oh, really? You know, um, I used to not understand why would an Animal Crossing game be fun at all. But after I played it, it was like basically one of the best things I've played in my life. I got so obsessed. I just love it so much. And I'm also in love with Isabel, so there's also that. <laughs> Uh, 
like this. Yeah, I think this that's looking good. Don't know what I'm doing, but I think it's working. Because I'm liking this. Uh, girls in making parasocial relationships cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. You actually do get like really attached to your villagers. Like no joke. I don't know. I before playing Animal Crossing, I didn't get at all what the point of it was. I was like, there's nothing to do. Uh, you just, I don't know, buy things and then do chores, maybe? And I, I really thought there was nothing to do in the game. Now I'm like, whoa, well, there's, you can do whatever you want and your villagers are so cute and it's all so amazing. And it's like that. Oh. Wait. Like this. Then, uh, da, 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 da. I don't even know what color I would do this thing, but. Like I said, for this one, we're just doing things. We're just doing whatever. And even for this, I think I'm taking too long, honestly. But hey, it's... Uh, it's something. What wah, 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 wah. The monochrome is a uh, neat change of pace. Yeah, you, it's... I like it. I, and I think you're right. It is a neat change. It really fits the challenge, like, really well. And I should actually use that um, for when I make the little short for this. <laughs> like that idea as the concept. I like that. Um, wait. So like this, ah, like this and this. Let's do racer and then this one. So, okay, time is up, but I can finish up in a second. I just need.
Mm, no. No. Okay, yeah. And then for this one. Darker, but a little bit more colorful. Uh-huh. Also, bold choice to make the line way thicker and the more distant part of the image. I don't know why, it just... It speaks to me for some reason. Maybe it doesn't work, but... That outline just tells me to do so. And I want a little highlight color. So... Does it look too pink? I'm afraid it... In my other screen it looks like... Um, closer to the magenta-ish color. I have two screens and one is a lot, um, one has like another tone to it. My main screen is a lot bluer, so sometimes I feel like maybe I'm doing the wrong color, but I don't, I don't even know. Uh, either way, let's do... Let's do some highlights. I think you're fine. Let's go. I finished a slightly better. I'll show off both. Then we can see the pro the progress, right? <laughs> Hopefully you don't mind. If you don't want to, then let me know, but I think Jorna would look better with a hotter pink anyway. We'll see what I what I cook. Colors look really good. Oh, let's go. Thank you. They kind of look like feathers but uh i don't know i'm trying to do like the it is supposed to be fur i guess but i don't know Grimace, thank you. Doing great. Thank you. We're almost done with this one. Wait, no. Uh, oh no. With this one. Ha <laughs> ha ah, ha. My back is already killing me. And okay, this is done. I'll just do a few thicker lines in a few spots. Just very select. Like this. Over here too. And on the end of the foot like this and there we go wait just I know I always say last thing but this is actually 
the last thing. There we go. Ah, really me. Ah, since Grimace had us on the fur around the rims, I would have turned the fuzzy texture into a real light sort of deal, but that's just me. We can sort of do that. Do we have time? You can kind of do that in a few spots. I actually don't really like this one, so. Maybe neither this one, so. And then. No doubt. I mean, it is fine, but... I think this is it, right? Let's not... Ah. Alright. Grimace wheel one. Let's go. There we go. We got this one done. Just in time. Let me share the sonic.exe. I'm really curious to see them too. Uh, uh. Um, recently my 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 back has been Killing me. Oh, this is pretty cool. And I can see why you, you felt the Mudkip vibes. But honestly, it's, it's not that far away from what it looked like, right? Um, My horn just had like the thin, I don't know, thin point, thin, I don't know what's that, what's, what's that called? Let me, give me a second. Here is the first Sonic.exe. Dun dun. Yeah, so like this is the only thing that um makes it look look mudkipish because uh, I wouldn't have that, but it's actually like not far away from what it looked like. And like the other one, you didn't only like step your game up but it's like what how did you do that so quickly let me share it like this it's like wait what how could you do that so so quickly <laughs> yeah i also like the the wavy mouth it's fun but I, I can see definitely the improvement. And I, I like the white eyes. It's like a little bit of that uh, Five Nights discourse. Red eyes versus the white eyes. <laughs> I spit from my drawings. Unlike me. All right. Drop your workflow. <laughs> yeah, true. Truly a bruh moment. Bruh. Now it's time for... Go the wheel. I honestly have no idea what I'll do with... For this, I need to find a good pose. I'm trying to shade light that fast, true. Uh, 
Okay. Oof, this is a little bit terrifying, but I think I'll only do like a bust, like maybe more like up until the waist or something like that. I don't think, or maybe, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> thinking, thinking, thinking. Just play out of out of speed draw games, and not pay attention to small mistakes. Couldn't be me. Would you imagine if I could do that? Could you imagine if I could do that? You can simplify as much as you need. Oh, I will. I will. Because if not, this would be like the craziest challenge. I'll go like I think I'll go with this pose. Let me... I think I'll go with this. Uh, wait, I'll make it smaller. What? That was too small. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. What? I made it the same size. Um, this. Whoops. Oof, okay. And I have another reference over here and I'll be ready. Okay. Kono yur no jobana niwa yume ka aru. Honestly, I don't know. Haven't seen. I think I only saw like four episodes. I was up until the fight. Uh, with the shadow, the shadow stand fight, I got. Up until there. I feel like that's the fourth or fifth episode. Because I was watching it with a friend, but then. Haven't seen that friend since. <laughs> Alright. Sorry, I'm taking longer because I'm trying to. Plan it out a little bit in my head. And looking at references to have around but I think I think I got it all right here we go yeah episode four or five yeah right let's go wait what you can try it as chibi mm. I'll simplify it, but it won't be a chibi. Um, but let's see. Wow, wow. What do you want Just gonna do like shapes and then whatever we have. And I'm actually, this time around, I won't. I won't do... Okay, I'm saying this, but I think I will commit this time. I won't do shading 
except like full black outlines or white lines only that nothing else nothing less this is probably not even gonna be proportional wacky proportions all over but you know it's It is what it is. No. I mean, Araki's proportions well. Black Sabbath, I like Warwick songs. Araki's proportions were all over the place in early JoJo. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Sometimes they were wacky. They have like a, like a big arm flailing backwards, and it felt like all disjointed and a tiny head, neck like this. Chest over here, waist over here. I mean, I'm not criticizing, I'm just. just feels funny. And I'm gonna do that same thing. for this. Like, this hand is going to be huge in comparison to the other one. But it's part of the deal. It's part... It's all part of the plan. The slightly waste. <laughs> Have you seen Moral Oral? Uh, doesn't sound familiar. What's that? And I'm actually just going to turn this line art from the sketch into the full line art because, because I can. You want to go into some serious course of treat? Yep. I'm actually gonna make this sand even bigger. I wanna match them up a little bit. Gotta get some of those big Joey hands. Wait. Actually, just. I know what to do to make it work. Uh, it's a self motion adult film. Oh, really? Made by the same people who made Robo Chicken? I used to love Robo Chicken, so I would be interested. Sounds fun. Um, characters are more complex. Oh, you know, I never heard about it, but I'll have to look into it. No, this kind of doesn't make sense like I wanted it to. 
I know. It's on YouTube. <laughs> Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll check it out. At least to see what, what the idea is. God, it's not. No, I think I need to go back to the other hand, just make it big. kind of prefer this shape but I like the other size don't want to get too hauled up by this but I think I think it's a little bit important give it a little bit of space like this And just, you know, making more and more space for it. Ah. Okay. I think we're back. Trying to look at it. All right. Okay, this, this part is going to be hard. Faces are a lot more trouble for me. Let's do, let's do a little bit of this, a little bit of this. Wait, like, like this, like this. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Trying to get there. I'm not. Give me a second. Okay, let's skip the face for now. Need to move this around a little bit. More space to this one. More space to this one. Like that. I like that. Oof. Um, maybe I will just do, I don't know if I should do the legs, that's what I'm wondering. I need to search up something, I want to see, uh, Giovanna, um, how would I call the color change that happens in Jojo's? Oh, color shift. 
Maybe I'll do the color shift, but I don't know if that will look good. All right. Uh -uh. Working on it. Working not too bad. Ba -ba 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 -ba. It's a tough one. Um, Because it would be big if I did the... I think we can do it. So if the hip is around here, perhaps. We can... And if it's something like this, and then da -da -da -da. shoes. Not that pointy, a little bit, just a little bit, just a tiny, teeny bit, right? And then the other one, like, don't even know. Like this. This one ends up like here. Right, so far, so good. I think. <laughs> what was this shape meant to be? Honestly, I don't know. I'll just leave it there. will just be a thing and now now it's and for the face i guess we shouldn't do the neck as thick wouldn't make sense that that was maybe something that was messing me up You decided to do the full post, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not sure what to do with the face. Not sure at all. <laughs> Leave it there for a second. All right. I think maybe would this make any sense? It's not the same face. It's not the same pose, but. I kind of like it. Let's see if this works. I don't even know, but I'm struggling with the face. Mm. 
I need a little bit of a side view. Yeah, that's a hard up to angle. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'll need to at least perhaps try to attempt because I don't know. I struggle with faces, especially when I'm not doing like uh, I'm not trying to copy the style. So maybe I won't do this one. This was meant to be like a shadow and then all that, but I feel like this looks like too much of a bump as you. This looks a little weird. I'm kind of getting like Joske vibes. So let's see. I need to, I think I know how to fix this. Okay. So think I'm seeing looks really good though thanks although I think I, I I I won't do this but because doesn't it doesn't let me work with the eyes like the way I wish so that's what I'm doing right now I struggle with the mouth too. I feel like I'm not getting the right proportions. And the face shape. And the nose. I think this might be it. I'll just work with what I've got. Hopefully this makes sense. Oh, I forgot the eyebrows. I'll touch the head soon after. I just need to work. With this in more detail, I guess. Oh, that's like a good sensation of a Jojo face. Oh, thank you. That means a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. I mean, it's it's wonky, but. In a way, it's meant to be, right? In a way, I, I am trying to make it messy. Now it looks like Dio. <laughs> when I added this spike, I feel it looks so much like Dio. <laughs> I mean... I guess it kind of makes sense, right? But it's funny. Uh, wait. I need a, a 
picture of the hair. Make his nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. It just felt funny that. I know that's the case, but. This actually, like, related them more in my head. Okay. So now let's just see if this works over here. Because I don't know. I start to say it now. He does look like the oh yeah. What chain do I want? Oh, I feel like I want this, like a really, really long neck. A little bit to the side, even, but he does it like more to this side. But I'm kind of feeling like this side. This side? I think I'll do this. Ooh. Uh, kind of got cut up a little bit. No worries. Oops. I think gonna has to be that way. Shape size. That's a little bit too um hard to follow. Let's work with this a little, a little bit. Let's see if it makes sense. Okay, just, is this the last one? Uh, depending on how the shading goes, maybe the last one for the day. Um, depending on how it goes. Uh, there, I'm still missing the red, but that should be a quick character either way so it really um really depends on that how quickly i do things right hmm 
But it's almost the last one. And it's the big boss, I guess, in terms of what I do. For red, you can do Knuckles. I think we decided on another character. But if you do have suggestions, um, I'm listening. So far, the character is still locked in. I don't think I would do another Sonic character. I'm trying to do from different places and franchises. Or the Red Power Ranger. That would be interesting. I'll think about it. Because I'm still not sure about the red that we chose. What character did you choose? Was this one. Funnily enough, it's another uh wait I can't show it right now because I'm working on the footage. I'll show it in a bit. It's uh called Juan Carlos. It's a red uh rabbit mm, puppet like. I'll show it in a minute. Um, but you can still suggest things. I'm, I'm open to more. Well, I don't know how well this looks, but you know, it was an attempt, I guess. It was something. And plus, translating this from big to small is another challenge on its own. <laughs> mm, something weird is going on here. Wait. There we go. Just like this. Let's look at the... I hope this makes sense, this head, this shape, this size for this drawing. I mean, it's a small head, but it's a weirdly shaped body, so... I'm trying to keep the weirdness in all of it. What is this? I think I know what that is. Oh, I was missing this here, I guess. You mean the bizarreness? <laughs> yeah, true. Alright. I think it's good enough like this. Let's see. And now for the rest. 
a big old eraser. And now we're actually gonna use this. Oh, there's a big gap over here. Didn't even notice. I'm guessing I'm gonna have to close a few areas like that all over. Get ready for full canvas jump scares, maybe. Or no, it seems, seems to be controlled so far. Uh, let's do the blues. What blue do I want? He has the Tokyo Revenger snack. I thought uh needed to be that way. It only made sense. Oop. Mm -mm -mm. You got gamer neck. This actually makes me want to color it like this. I think that's that's okay. It's fine if it's different. Let's see. What 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 and Like that. And do 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 do. Oop. Mm, I think I want a little bit more yellow. Uh, no. This better. Let's see. I think this wait did I want this color up oh, over here Looks kind of crazy, but he had Lily from Borderlands. Okay, so far it's been tough, but hey, not too bad, right? Like the saturated color things, I'm planning on keeping it that way because if I 
go to crazy with shading, it'll be a forever thing. But with crazy colors like this, that I can live with. That I'm super happy with. Oh. Um. I just realized journal would be a printer Jijinka, his color scheme, at least in the anime. Yeah, that kind of makes sense. I mean, this one is um, a little bit exaggerated, but in a way it works. And that's pretty cool. Way like this. And with this, now, oh, there was like a thing over here, and a thing over here. Georgia and Joanna have an electricity bill to print. Is that their new stand power? Mm. Oh no. He has like little earrings, I think. Let's add that. What else? What else? And can we do this? I want to add, oop, this is going to be our shading. Journal seems to stand as a printer. It's to turn inanimate objects into paperwork. Vice versa. <laughs> I mean, it could be useful. He could make a business out of it and then stay out of trouble, you know? No need to turn into a life of crime or... Whatever, just, just be that. Who's that? This is Giorno Giovanna from JoJo's Part Five. Well, uh, sorry, I'm gonna have to do that something real quick. Sorry, that my thing glitch out. Hopefully, I didn't show anything.
Right, go to sleep. Good night, Chavishnoti. Thank you for um for coming to the stream. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't let the bed bugs bite. See you next time. I think we can do this kind of fast because we're just doing fun lines. I just need to find the correct placements, I guess you could say. Did he lend to occlusion? <laughs> just a little bit of one titty pixel. Just that. Nothing more. No more than that. Uh, I was doing the pants. Something like this. Okay, let's bucket to all of this. Did the pixels are good pixels. Even just one is enough. What we can get is better than nothing, right? Look, this is me. The beetle in the suit. I actually like that. Like, looking like that. I'm just better than that. <laughs> exactly, you get me. Let's go. Clever. <laughs> the fun Easter egg. I mean, in a way, in a way. I'm not doing anything too special, but... You grubs know it's me, right? <laughs> Up. Like this. And this this one dubious little creature getting up to mischief yes. mm. this might be better so I kind of want to Kind of want another color in this one. Oh, 
Actually, black looks really cool, but looks like a cutout, so no. And what else can we do over here? It, the black ink patterns make it look a bit more Jojo. I'm trying, I'm trying. It's a, it's a little bit of a mix. The freestyle thing. But making it look like something, I guess. There's something to it. Uh, There's something to it, although I'm not following any rules. Loosely following the reference that I've got, but nothing too crazy. But I, th I think actually we're going to end it on this one. And then I might do the other one offline so that we can do something else next time. But you would see that in a short whenever that comes out. So no need to worry. Uh, like We're basically going to see everything, right? So... But I think just to, so that I can actually stretch out a little bit, uh, my back's starting to hurt. But it's, uh, I think we did make good progress. I feel like... Even though I uh, took a long time, I think I spoke a about a lot of things, which I, I enjoy. And then I think we had fun. And I think I ended with this one just so that it's like... A I guess like a high note before I I burn myself out or something. <laughs> um, turned out great. Thank you. I'm just seeing which lines I'm missing. Is this like the rib cage, I guess? Doesn't feel like Mm hmm okay
I don't know if this is intended. I don't think so. But... That's like an outline in a for the rib sand. Yeah, I guess. I guess a little bit. Should we do it over here too, I guess? And like this. Does this look good? Maybe it's too much. I don't need to put it in both sides. I'm not sure. Um, I was going to say something. Oh, I don't know if this is intended, but it's funny that it's lo it looks like there's a five over here. So it's like part five. <laughs> You know, it's really greatly malnourished. Cannot make a sandwich with goal experience. Pretty sad. And do 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 do. Oh, the other side of the shoe. No, I do want this, but The shoes in part six, anime got nerfed so hard that you look the same. Really? I actually didn't but like I didn't think about that before. But do they all look the same because they're in prison? Maybe? I don't I mean you could argue clothes look different, so there is that. So who knows? To be for sure, so hard to draw. I mean, depends. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> not a... Not a fun answer. Wait. If you're part of doing that sonic drawing, I emailed down was the shoes. I feel like the hard thing about shoes sometimes is um the perspective correctly. But other than that, I think shoes are pretty fun. I wanted to do something with this, so the I feel like the line doesn't make it look right. I 
think maybe if we change I guess it's fine. Don't think I see an issue with it. Uh, what did I want to do? Wait a minute. Okay, this, just seeing that every part that I want is taken care of. The perspective is tricky. But it's super rewarding when you get it down. Yeah. And it's pretty fun. Even I think even if you don't get it. The perspective fully right. I think it's just fun to do like. Big fun shoes. They have fun shapes. That's what they have. Fun fun shapes. And oh, uh, I think I wish I could give it an upper lip, but I feel like I'm going to struggle with that. Even in the other one, this one, I didn't do that. Um. Yeah, I feel like it's strong with that. So I'm going to leave it as is. And it should be flat still. But I want to do... Wait. Okay, this is going to be risky. Let's see how this... looks let's see if I like the the idea yeah the upper lip should be thin because the bottom lip is so perky yeah the problem that I'm having is like the space is so small that kind of conflicts with the nose area um, for me and for the style that I kind of chose, I'm not sure if I, uh, if I'm finding the right way to compromise that. Oh, this is another color? Didn't even notice. And do 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 do. Is this white line that I'm making making sense? I don't want to do more than this than this side over here, but I don't know if it. means that I need to do like at least some spots over here like this or like this
The white line has good contrast to the line art. No, oh, wow, 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 wow. I guess so. It's not too bad. Just don't want it all over, but I feel like this might be enough. A little I think, I think this is it, right? I'm not sure if I should do more. I mean, I could do more, right? But <laughs> there's always more that I can do for everything. But I kind of like it like this. So, okay. Ah. Uh. I think for now, I'll leave it like this. Like I said, I'll do the red either offline or really quick next time. But next time, I already want to do something else. Um, but yeah, I hope you had fun, Grubs. Sorry if it was, again, another longer stream. But I think it was a good one. What the black on the neck makes it seem just a bit more connected to the head. I don't get it. Is there's something wrong that I should uh change? Yeah, um but yeah. Either way, if there's something wrong that I should change tell me now. Or never. <laughs> uh, no, because uh, this would be the one that I use for footage. And yeah. Uh, other than that, have a good night, grubs. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Hope you have a. Hope you had a good time. I had a great time. Ah. I'll see you next week, grubs. Okay. Well, either way, I guess this is it, Grubs. Good night, and bye-bye. See you next time. This is a bit misaligned with the head, but it's a bit late to fix that. All right, I'll give it another look next time. Uh, well, not on my own, I meant. But thank you. Bye.